Well, hello friends, Coach Bob with you today. And today, the dog just started going crazy. I thought my daughter might be over here. We were supposed to go on a motorcycle ride this morning. One of the two-wheeled variety. She hasn't ridden on a two-wheeled motorcycle in her adult life. So this is gonna be a, an interesting little thing. I explained to her last night, you know, hey, when I lean this way, you have to go with me. When I lean that way, you have to go with me. Don't go the other way or we go in a straight line. But that's a different story for a different time. We'll be maybe running the cameras on that. But what I wanna share with you, something really exciting. I got a new jacket. I know you're saying, Coach Bob, another motorcycle jacket. Are you crazy? You have enough. Well, this isn't a motorcycle jacket, but this is a motorcycle jacket that will work in association with a motorcycle jacket. So what this is, this is some heated gear by a company called Dubu, D-E-W-B-U. Now I'm gonna tell you, I haven't seen the jacket, so let's do a little unboxing. I did, you know, I got off, oh, by the way, check this out. You might like this too. I don't wanna, don't wanna leave out the other things that are important. Oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Coach Bob's got quite the green thumb. And you thought all I could do was ride motorcycles and get grease all over my hands. Ha! You were wrong! All right, so let's open this jacket and see what Dubu has sent me, because I'm really looking forward to checking this thing out. And then once I do that, I'll see how it fits, and then we'll do a review. But it is a heated jacket, and I'm super excited about trying that. I know what you're saying. Coach, it's not that cold. It's just not that cold in Florida. Well, you know, my blood is a little thinner than yours. I get cold. Anyway, I hope to use this thing when I head over to Daytona in the next few days. Maybe you wear it while I'm riding over there when I hit those cold spots early in the morning and flip that little heater on and wear it up under my Joe Rocket jacket and be snug as a bug in a rug. All right, so let's check this thing out. All right, so let's see what they sent me here. Safety and innovation. Dubu, D-E-W-B-U, heated apparel, long-lasting electric heat. I'm really super excited about this. I've never had anything like this. Ooh, that looks really nice, y'all. Wow. This is nicer than I thought it was gonna be, just being honest with you. Ooh, wow. This thing's got some weight to it, I like that. Well, I can tell you my initial impression is very, 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 really high. Um, it's got a zip on off hoodie and it's got a little fleece lining within the hoodie. It's got the uh, zipper rollover that covers your zipper there. I like that too. I'm gonna have to try this bad boy on. We'll check this out inside. Sometimes it's hard to do things in the outside, you know, when you got a bunch of stuff everywhere. Oh wow, this is nice, man. You know, I thought it was gonna be thinner, just like a little windbreaker, but this is a jacket, man. This thing is awesome. And see, it has the little, the little guard over the zipper so it doesn't pinch the skin in your neck. Which, you know, when you turn into an older guy and you get this looser skin, <laughs> you can do that. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I don't look as dapper as the model on the page, their webpage, but I'm gonna tell you, just as a jacket, this thing is super nice. Massive, massive compartments in the sleeves. I guarantee that'll hold my big iPhone. The pockets are big, they're solid, they're not just a mesh lining. Now that's where your battery pack goes for your heated, heated gear. And you, there's where the, you can see a little sew in where the heating elements are. All right, so here is the Dubu 12 volt battery pack. Comes with a USB charging cable. And there's your battery pack. And your little instruction sheet. Let's look at this. This thing is nice, man. And from what I understand, this is an in-out. This will charge a phone, I believe. Anyway, we'll figure all that out later. This is pretty cool. But this is where you charge it, and then this is where you plug it into the jacket. It drops into that little internal compartment inside the jacket pocket and you get warmed right up. So I'm gonna hook this baby to a charger and we'll talk later. So here's the jacket quick start guide. This tells you what it has in there. It has the uh, jacket itself, the battery, the charging apparel, the charging cable, and the uh, instruction booklet. Here's your little power switch. We'll go through all of this as I review the jacket. Very, very cool. You can see the three settings, 
High is 140 degrees, medium is 125, and low is 110. I think this thing is gonna be absolutely awesome. If this jacket feels as good warming as it does just feeling like a quality jacket that I have on, it's, this is gonna be impressive. I'm, super, I'm way more excited about this than I thought I was gonna be. This is really, really cool. But we're gonna go into that into much greater detail as we test this jacket out over the next few days. Super excited. This thing looks really nice, so stick around for an in-depth look and review of the Dubu heated jacket. All right, so let's talk Dubu jacket. Now, I have no prompts out here at all, nothing at all, because I wanted you to know my actual feelings on this jacket. Um, now, I've had the jacket for about a month now, and so I've been using it as much as I can. Now, here in Florida, obviously, we don't have the brisk mornings of the Northeast, so it's a little different for me. But I did have an opportunity to uh, fly across the country and drive back across, experience the jacket in a variety of climates, um, and it's done very, very well. So I wanna talk to you about it and uh, show you everything that this jacket has to offer. Uh, first off, let's talk about the battery and the battery life. I think that's the biggest question most people have. The battery comes in this nice little compartment here. Now the weight of the battery, it does have some mass to it, but it is not cumbersome and ridiculous. It right now is sitting at 94% charged. Now, I have not been running this thing super duper hard, but I have been running it. So that's my, my second charge in four weeks. Now, will you go through the battery more rapidly than I will? I, I would say that's possible because you're gonna be probably in a colder climate. Now. Here is the switch right here. When you press it, you hold it down. Now with this lighting, it may not be very well to see. It's red, and then it's blue, and then it's green. The red is the highest setting, the blue is the next, and the green is the next. And when you hold the button for an extended period of time, it turns it on and off. That's all there is to it as far as the function of it. You plug the battery in, you turn it on, you have your three settings. So that's pretty simple. So now that you understand just the simple functionality of it, let's look at some of the features on it. These zippers here are cavernous. They are big. I've got an iPhone 11. It's one of the larger ones. It's an older one. It fits in there with plenty, plenty of room. Now, as with all jackets, when you go to zip them up, I always grab the sleeve, provide a little tension for that zipper, zips right up velcro at the bottom now i am small boned so my wrists are not real big so anyone that had a big wrist this would be plenty of room for them but if you're small wristed like me with this velcro closure you can still shut off that air and then what i do is i kind of roll that in like that again cavernous pocket over here just massive pockets Now the sizing on the jacket, I wear a large in virtually every jacket that I wear. This jacket fits me well. Another thing that I really, really appreciate, and I didn't appreciate it as much as a younger man, but this little piece right here, this little piece of material right here, as you zip up, it doesn't, it won't pinch your neck. Now that little detail right there is a big deal to me. The pockets themselves, the pockets are large. They run from there to there. So the, the pockets are really, really big. Again, secure zippers, very easy to zip up and zip down. You have a pull string around the bottom to keep it nice and snug around the waist. I'm a 34 inch waist. There's, there's room if you were uh, probably a 40 inch waist I think but this jacket would open up big enough for you so the jacket is nice and expandable in the bottom as you can see there let's talk about the the, the quality of the construction as you can see you have a nice double seam everything is nice and solid the interior of the jacket is soft and a quilted feeling 
So the jacket's warm even without the heaters on. But when I turn the heaters on, I'm gonna turn them on right now. So it's on right now. So this is real time. So what you see is what I, I'm gonna describe what I'm feeling as I talk about this jacket. I already feel the elements heating up in this jacket. If this were a brutally cold day, which, you know, this is a typical Florida morning that it's cool in the morning and warm in the afternoon. But if this were a brutally cold day, I can tell you this is this feels pretty good. I, I've, I've used it on some cold days. It feels great. The heated jacket is really, really nice. Now let's talk about the hood. Actually, this is getting a little bit warm. <laughs> the hood has a Velcro piece here and here, so it will come all the way across and close up on those brisk, windy days. And you also have your clasp to even pull it tighter. Now. I have not felt the need to use that. I have simply thrown the hood up because I've worn it on some wet days uh, where it was cool and misty rain. The jacket did well in that environment. Is it a raincoat? No, it's not. But does it work in damp, inclement days? Yes, it's worked very well for me. So let's show you how the hoodie detaches or the, the hood detaches from this jacket. <laughs> and now it feels cold out here. <laughs> All right. So the hood has a nice little fleece lining to it. There's the zipper right there. Nice heavy duty zipper. Zips right across, comes right off. Now you have the jacket without the hood. Now for me in this part of the country, this is my preferred configuration as of now. Once we get into December and January, I will be putting the hood right back on there. But for now, this is how I wear the jacket and how I prefer to wear the jacket. All right, so let's go back in the office give it our final thoughts. All right, so we're back inside where it's a little warmer and a little nicer, uh, a little, little uh, rainy out there today. <laughs> um, it's been uh, ebb and flow with the uh, cloud coverage and all that stuff, but that's how it goes this part of the year, right? Uh, so let's talk just the last, we're just gonna close this out. I'm gonna drop a video of um, the their little promo video right here of the manufacturer. Can you wear this on a motorcycle? Uh, I've, what I've done is I've taken the liner out of my Joe Rocket and I rode with this inside of it with the heat turned on. Felt pretty darn toasty. I'm gonna tell you on a really cold day, that would be super special because that's something I've never ever done before. So let's talk about, you know, just, you know, the features as they list them on their website. Although I know you're capable of reading, this is something that'll just give you all the details and then you can make a more informed decision. I can tell you that everything that they tell you on this website is true from firsthand experience. Uh, 12 volt, five heating zones, two on the front, one on the back, and one in each arm. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, you have your LED display, which you saw, the red, the blue, and the green. Uh, you have uh, the, it's, they say it's an easy care. I, I don't have any reason to doubt that. I'm known to be somewhat of a klutz in my truck when I'm drinking coffee and I've spilled coffee on it, just wiped it off and it's not left any marks or stains or anything like that. So what comes in it is a 12 volt heated jacket, the little battery pack, which I showed you, a charging cable and your little quick start guide, which is just a couple of pages. So the jacket is simple, it's basic, it's functional, it looks good, it feels good. I like the jacket a lot. I'm very, very pleased with it. So from Coach Bob 3 and the Dubu jacket, you get two thumbs up. So nice job. Uh, definitely look forward to wearing this. You're gonna see this a lot when I'm out in that garage working in the wintertime. You'll see this jacket a lot. All right, well there you have it, the Dubu jacket. Is it worth it? Yes, it is. So do me a favor until next time. Go out by the motorcycle of your dreams. Eat right. Take care of yourself. And remember, if you're not having fun, you are doing it wrong. Now you go seize the day. I'll see you on the road real, real soon.